I've been preparing for a 24-hour run taking place in June. This run is a trail run conducted over a 10-kilometer loop for 24 hours. I had attempted it last year, but due to some pretty serious mistakes on my end with fueling, I ended up contracting pretty serious GI distress, and that led to a pretty bad time. I ended up dropping out after about 16 hours, having barely covered any distance at all. Uh, my very first ultra marathon, I was able to cover 50 miles in nine and a half hours. But, you know, here I was this time, only covering around 40 some odd miles in 16, which is really unimpressive. And I ended up dropping out. So I've been trying to prepare myself to do a better job this time around. Although, being honest with you, being motivated to do so has been difficult as work has been nothing short of overwhelming with 24-hour shifts taking place one to two times a week, causing recovery to be severely mitigated. And plus with trying to have some degree of free time to play video games and have some sort of fun in life, you know, it's, it's been quite a challenge. I have boosted up my weekly mileage from zero miles, which is what it was for months, to around 20 to 30 miles a week now, which in the end is nowhere near what it needs to be, not even close, but we're at least getting closer. I can now squeak out 15 mile runs with relative ease, no trouble at all, and feeling comfortable the whole way. And I've just been testing out fueling strategies to see if I can get everything down to mitigate any future problems. Another major factor has been the weather. The weather here has been highly unforgiving. And running outside has been nothing short of unpleasant and inconvenient. And has resulted in trying to put a lot of miles down the treadmill, which I have also found is not exactly morale boosting by any means. And along with that, I found it seems to cause additional physical stress. So trying to get the right mileage in and train and be motivated to do so has not been exactly the easiest process in the world. But I have been trying to keep up with it. I'm about 12 weeks out from the race at this point. And as of right now, I've still just been trying to prepare myself the objective is to run 100 miles in that time, which is definitely in the frame of being doable, but it, it would definitely take a lot more training than what I've been putting in. I hate to, hate to lie to myself and say I've been doing enough, as honestly I have not been. Frankly, I've been barely training for anything lately. I've been perpetually tired and overall not in the right state of mind, which is not doing me any favors at all. Hopefully I can get things zeroed in here shortly and be be able to do what I need to do. I found that last time, aside from the GI distress, the main issue was not muscular fatigue, it was actual skeletal fatigue. My bones themselves seem to hurt, which I'm not entirely sure how to mitigate that outside of just getting my body used to having that kind of mileage put down on it. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do, is continually training. And I've had some difficulty with getting legitimate leg days in due to putting miles down. I found it's pretty hard to go and squeak out a heavy squat routine or a lot of leg extensions or whatever the case may be without putting a pretty, pretty absurd amount of stress on my knees, or at least that's how it feels. As time goes on, I'm sure we'll get more dialed in. I will continue to post some updates here and try to keep content rolling through so you can see where we're at and hopefully you can track along with me as I get ready to take on this mission.